Have you ever got home from a long, hard day at work and decided, you know what, I'm just going to touch up my makeup just a, just a little bit because it's looking a little bit greasy, it's looking a little bit messy. So you start trying to touch it up and you just make it look a hundred million times worse. Yeah, that's what I've done today. Hello. <laughs> but you don't have to be looking at my crusty, dusty, musty face for too long because today is a shop my stash. I'm going to be rooting through this makeup drawer because I'm actually going on holiday. I'm so excited. I'm going for a long weekend at the Lake District with my boyfriend and his parents and his grandparents. It's going to be such a amazing few days. So I decided that I'm going to pack my makeup bag with you guys today. I have recently done a video where where I go through my entire makeup collection, I reorganize everything, I clean everything. It's a huge deep clean video. So if you did miss that, I will link it up in the cards. It was very fun, very amazing. So my drawers look a little bit different today. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I upload every single day and I love bright, fun, colorful makeup. Today I'm wearing my The Pastel Roses A Tale of Frozen Dreams palette. Let me get it for you. Ta-da, here she is, here she is. This is her, this is she. I love this color story. I didn't like this look when I first put it on, but now I'm kind of like, oh. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into the video. Let's get in these drawers and see what I am taking on holiday with me over the next few days. Okay, so I feel like I'm going to have to do this top drawer in halves just because my drawers are really wide. So I am going to jump in to this section here. This is, of course, my new little setup. I'm so happy with this. I know a lot of people really like clean, spacious, not much in them drawers. I'm a maximalist. I'm having to learn the hard way. I would love to be a minimalist. However, I've just, I've accepted that is not me. That's not me. I love things like this. I love things everywhere. An organized chaos, if you will. I absolutely love things like that. And when you see the second half of this drawer as well, you can kind of get a sneak peek here, but I absolutely love things like this. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. So, primer. Um, if you've been on my channel before, you will know, uh, there is no primer. I don't use primer, I don't like primer, I don't think it works. I have very dry skin anyway, so primer doesn't really do much. I just use a very, very hydrating moisturiser, and that is what I'm going to do on me holly bobs. So I'm going to skip primer completely, we don't know her, and I'm going to jump into foundation, which is this little section here. I think what I'm going to do, side note, I know, but I'm going to do a little bit of a haul, I think, because I'm getting a little bit stale with my makeup collection, and I want to, I want to do more, you know, I want to try more things, I want to do more, but you guys, sit down, if you stood up, sit down, sit down, because I think I know what I want, and you guys will not believe me because I want this foundation without a mixer without anything I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this is my Urban Decay Hydromaniac foundation it is really light for me to be honest so no I'll just bronze up it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine this is very light coverage and I'm a full coverage girly to the core to my bones to my very depths of my being. I am a full coverage girl. However, this holiday is going to be like a fun, um, we're not lazing around, it's gonna be like we're going to Windermere, we're doing paddle boarding, we're like going out, um, not in the town way, but we're going out, we're going for adventures, and I think this is gonna be a really nice foundation. My skin recently has been so good. Like, so good. So I think, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to brave it. And I think this is the only foundation that I'm going to bring. I am going to bring a concealer, of course. But oh, am I brave enough to do this? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to do it. I might get to day one and be like, I absolutely hate my life. Why the hell did I do that? I hope not. But, mm, maybe, maybe. <laughs> So my concealers are in this little drawer here, and I don't have many. I'm actually a bit scared, to be honest. I really am. Because this one is nearly gone. You can see here, it's really, really thin down to, like, here. So, um, yeah, this one is 
being worked on in a project pan. It's nearly gone as well. This one's so nice though, the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I actually really like that. And then I have my green one, you know, you know. I think, oh, I also have Hiding Away. This is the one that I think I'm actually going to bring with me. This is the NYX Pro Fix Stick. And this, oh, guys, this is so good. I love, I love this. I think this is so nice. I've tried this a few times now, and I originally saw Nikki Tutorials play around with it, and I was like, oh, I need that. And then it was a US exclusive because of course it was. Of course it was. Everything is. <laughs> I've obviously got my little nabbers on this and I absolutely adore it. I really do like this. It's really like effortless full coverage. You just tap this on a blemish and it's gone. It is insane. I use so little of this. I'm so excited to play around with this. This might be a favourite. Honestly, this might be a favourite of 2024. <gasps> I know it's way too early to say that yet, but this, honestly... It might be a favourite of 2024. It's just so good. I've not wanted to put that down and I, honestly, I still don't. I still don't. You can pry that out my cold dead hands. Powders, pruders, honestly, I've missed you. My darling angel, the love of my life. I have missed my Huda Beauty pound. What is it? Sugar cook easy bake. That's it, the easy bake. I can't love her that much, clearly, because I don't know her name. <laughs> but this was one of those powders that everyone said, oh my god, you have to try, you have to try, you have to try. And I was like, I'm a poor student. I can't pay that much money for a powder. And then I did pay that much money for a powder, and I was like, oh my god, guys, everyone needs this. I was that annoying girly. I was gonna bring, like, my Too Faced pressed powder. It's got a massive pan in it, as you can see there. But I'm trying to, like, move away from Project Pan items just for this weekend. It's just a nice, chill, no, like, oh, I've got a hit pan on this kind of weekend. I'm just bringing what I want to bring. And I love this. I love this so much. I love it. It makes my under eyes look so smooth. So smooth. Like, <laughs> wow. I'll probably just use that for the rest of my face as well. If you're new, normally I bake under my eyes and then I use a pressed powder for the rest of my face. But honestly, I'm just going to take that. I'm sure I'll manage. I'm sure I'll live. I'm sure I'll survive. Oh, I'm going to take a lip balm. This, if no one's tried this, is this even still a thing? The Co... Kvos? Kvos? I don't know. Kvos lip stuff lip balm that's the word this is so good so i'm gonna bring that as well okay so i'm gonna move you to the other side of the drawer which is all my cheek products i'm the most annoying person in the world i'm so sorry my mic was not on but lucky for me my new camera has pretty good sound so i'm hoping that it was okay because it's currently like half eight at night <laughs> and i have another video to film so i'm so sorry <laughs> look at this beautiful goodness. Is the is the sound quality good now? I hope so. Oh my god. How annoying. How annoying. So as I said, I'm trying to pull a little bit more away from Project Pan things while I'm away this weekend. So I'm just, for the first time in forever, I'm gonna bring whatever the hell I want. Oh my god, what a concept. Okay, I'm getting nitty gritty. I'm, I'm getting nitty gritty. I'm standing over. I've got two hands. I'm ready to swatch. I'm ready to bloody go for it. So the first thing that I actually noticed was possibly this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Italian Summer Cheek Palette. I did replace this highlight because the original highlight in this was pure garbage. And look at this one. Stun. Stunner. Stunning. So these two are original, the bronzer and the blush. Um, that's a possibility. It's like quite compact as well. I don't want to seem high maintenance. I'm just, I'm not like the other girls, you know. Oh, I'm going to take this before I forget. This is my coconut setting spray. I'm going to be out and about doing the most. I need a setting spray. Normally I'm not a setting spray person, but when I'm like out for a long time, yeah. My eyes leak a lot, so I need help in that department. Okay, these are all my bronzers. I kind of want to do the Fenty. I kind of want to be a, a cool girl. I feel bougie whenever I wear this. I don't know if you're the same with Fenty, but I feel like a cool Instagram girl whenever I wear Fenty. Am I alone in that? I don't know. I could be. I could be. I don't have that many bronzers, 
to be honest. Yeah, Fenty's the one. I have to. She's so gorgeous. Like, look at her. Look at her. Blush. I want to take this opportunity to use a blush that maybe I don't use much. And I think, look, the weather's going to be so nice. I'm actually tempted to take maybe this. I have not used this in... I don't even know. I can't even finish that sentence because, like, it's... It's been a while, let me tell you that. These are the swatches. How gorgeous are they? They are such summer fun colors. They're so fun. I was gonna take this or this because this is, again, so fun. Look at this. Whoop. This is perfect for that sunset blush trend. Someone said that and commented on one of my videos recently and I need to do a shorts video like that. I need to do a shorts video trying this out because, <gasps> wow, wow, that's stunning. This is in a project pan. So I'm gonna take the sweet like a peach, I think, just because this isn't in a project pan and I wanna give it a try. Highlighter, this was like an OG fave. This is the sleek, what is this, Solstice Equinox. This is, oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> this is so beautiful. And honestly, that is like, ooh, that, mm, I wanna take it. I really do wanna take it. This was in a project pan recently, even though I absolutely love it. This is the Ofra Glazed Donut. And look at that pan love this is also like a great choice for four pound again like look at them they're so blinding wow i love i love i love but i think i never get a chance to use this i think this is gonna be the one i think i'm gonna use this one okay so i'm gonna jump down to my eyeshadow drawer oh my god how exciting okay i've got you a bit of a strange angle oh jesus oh this isn't easy hang on okay i think i'm gonna have to do half and half again because this drawer is so wide. So let's start with these two drawers first. There are two ways that I can go with this. I can either go like really fun makeup, which I mean, my boyfriend's mum would actually adore that. Um, or I could go a little bit more neutral or I could just like go both, go both. I actually really wanna take this. This is ColourPop Ice Dream. That is what that looks like. Are you, are you, are you serious? This is so stunning. It's like an iridescent bluey pinky shade. And I think like, just imagine, okay, close your eyes and imagine the scene, picture the scene, me on a waterboard paddling along with this shimmering on my eyeballs. Yeah, I know you are picturing it and I know you're going, oh my God, yes living living dying breathing for that so i think i'm gonna bring this i absolutely love this and i want to use this every opportunity that i can i was actually thinking of bringing this okay i know i know i've poo pooed on this a little bit recently this was a lovely gift from my even lovelier friend ali and i have poo pooed on it i have i have said things um that maybe I will come to regret. However, I wore this to a funeral the other day and to be honest, it didn't last the longest. It didn't last the longest. Um, it was really creased up by the time I came home, but to be fair to it, I did put it on at seven o'clock in the morning and I came home at like 10 o'clock at night. So, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I did bake my eyes as well. I baked my eyelids. So I don't know. But I did use this recently. So maybe not that. I was going to take one of these. Oh my goodness me. If you have not seen my review on these palettes. <gasps> Beach. Oh, ooh. they are so, so pretty. Like that is spring. I might. Mm, nope. Nope. I have a vision. I'm gonna stick to it. I think I have not used this in a ridiculously long time. This is my That's Taupe palette and I feel like it'll go really nicely with Ice Dream. So I might do it. I might do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I really wanna play around like this shade. I don't have a, a taupe shade anymore that I'm working on. So I want to try that. This, if I remember correctly, doesn't look how it used to. It's still stunning though. 
Look at that. Still beautiful. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it. I need to stop myself thinking things like, shall I bring a fun palette? Because I'm only going to be there for three days. So I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I think I'll manage. I think I will survive. <laughs> Hello, we're up top. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. I look like a mess. Please don't judge me. Look at Max instead of me. Look at Poppy Max. How cute is he? Let's do lips. So this is my lip drawer and it is a bit messy. It's a bit cramped. She's she's full up. Um, I need to think practical because I'm going to be out and about. It's going to be Windermere. It's going to be windy. It is going to be sunny though, which is nice. Who knew Windermere could be sunny? Not me. I think I want to go Fenty again. I want to feel bougie. Like, look at this. Look at this one. Let's pull this one. This is, what is this? Pink Dragonfly. Oh, this looks pretty. Like, that's cute. But does it go with my eyeshadow palette? Mmm. I'm going to take this, I think. But I don't know if it goes with my eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to take as well. I'm going to take two lip options. I'm going to take NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Madeline and it's a lot more cool toned. Oh yeah, look at that. That swatch goes with these shades so well. Yeah, it's decided. It's decided. These two are so stunning. I absolutely love it. I love glosses. Cannot get enough of them. I was going to say, do I take glitter? No. No is the answer. Ooh, I could take, ooh, I could take this one. I could take Made by Mitchell. No, I'm not though. I'm not though. It's a chill weekend in Windermere. I'm not taking glitter. So I think this is it. I'm so excited to go. I'm so excited to go. I hope you have a great bank holiday weekend. I don't know when this is going live. Hopefully around bank holiday weekend at some point. But I hope you had an amazing time. This is what I am bringing. Stay safe. And I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.